is the leader of the Swiss, Swiss referendum, uh, Mr. Eno Schmidt. Please give him a round of applause. <coughs> in April 2012. Since then, petitions gathered signatures. As a result, today able to hand in 126,000 verified signatures to the offices of the family government. This is real money, you know? <laughs>
So yeah, that's what we did. Um, as a picture, when we got this 120,000 signatures, I would like to tell a bit of a story about this initiative in Switzerland. That starts at 2006, when Daniel Henny and me decided to do the thing that we like to do, what we think is the most important thing to do now, um, the initiative for an unconditional basic income. My origin is German, I come, come from Germany, but I went and moved to Switzerland for this initiative. Because Switzerland has this democratic tool of direct democracy, people's initiative, and public vote. What does that mean? So that, mean, that means, for example, if you and me have a good idea, um, our society can be develop better, for example, <coughs> basic income. Then we write a text where it's written what we want, and then we hand it in this to the federal uh, to the government or to an office, and they look on it and say, yeah, that's okay, that's not against human right, and so we do it. And then we can start a people's initiative in Taiwan, in Taiwan but in Switzerland. And that means you can collect signatures, ask the people if they agree, if they think that is valuable to vote about. So we ask the people, have you heard about it? Uh, would you like to sign this initiative for an unconditional basic income? We did it on the street, so that's a service for democracy. It's not so easy to get all the signatures. And some people said, you know what? I think that's a really bad idea. I'm against such thing, basic income, unconditionally, what's that? But I sign here because I want that we debate on it and that we vote on it so that it is clear that this is a bad idea. You know, that's also democracy. Democracy is not just to win. It's not a competition sport game. Democracy is an educational process. So by such a procedure, to have the possibility that ideas of you and you can come into the debate by such a tool of direct democracy of people's initiative, it becomes obviously, ah, oh, there is such an idea. And people are talking about it. And people are learning about what it is and to think about. And you have to take the other people more serious because they vote. They can vote. So you have to think about your proposal or suggestion more precisely because that can become a law. And you have to listen to the other people more seriously because they have a voice. They can vote. So democracy first, that's what I want to say, is much more than a fight. It is an educational progress in society. That the ideas from the people can come in and debate. And you know the politicians, they have no time for ideas. So they are busy by all that structures and things they have to do. So they have no time for innovation. They are not open for new ideas. They are just strictly in their career, in their loyalty, in their party rules. So they are not so free. We are free. And ideas always grow up by individuals. There's never, never has been an institution that has, a, has had an idea. So institutions is nothing. Everything is about individuals, people. They have ideas. So, when we did that, collecting these signatures, we have had 18 months time, a term of 18 months, to collect 100,000 valued signatures, and we collected 126,000 to be sure, safe, that this is enough. And then when we handed this in, by that, it was proved, it was checked then, but that is legally binding. 
that then there is a referendum. So it's not a petition. It's not an opinion poll. It is legal binding. So after that, the government has to look on it and to say something about it and uh, to give a suggestion, a proposal to the population and the parliament how to deal with it. And they said, you know, this is an awful idea. Switzerland will be destroyed by that. Everything becomes worth. Oh, no. And so some people in Germany, friends of mine, thought, oh, what a pity, you know, everything is at the end. But no, nothing. It's just that the government said what they think. It doesn't matter. It is their responsibility to, to say, oh, we think that is bad. But you know, 